Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about SoFi Technologies SOFI stock. We have a fantastic SoFi stock news today, which should cause the stock price to rally in my opinion, but it's also coming with very bad news. Well, technically the bad news comes first, and then the good news comes afterwards. So in this video, we're going to be going over their latest news updates, price targets, price predictions, and what my personal opinion is on this fantastic news. The first article we're going to be analyzing today is how SoftBank, which is one of SoFi Technologies' formerly largest shareholders, has completely liquidated their entire position in SoFi, which is not making investors feel very safe in regards to this company, and that's the bad news. However, after that, we're going to move on and talk about the really good news about how Vanguard is doubling down and increasing their investment in SoFi Technologies by twofold even despite SoftBank liquidating their entire position. And I will be going into detail about why these monster investment firms are doing this and why one is selling SoFi and the other one is buying more. So for more news videos on SoFi Technologies, remember to go and smash that like button right now. Comment your thoughts down below about where you think the future stock price is headed for this amazing company. Subscribe if you are new and without further ado, let's jump right into today's stories. If you're watching this video, you probably probably already know that SoFi Technologies is a fintech company that offers their consumers an all-in-one inclusive digital app which gives them access to various financial services and financial products. SoFi Technologies currently trades at $5.54 per share while professionals believe the company is undervalued right now because it should be trading between $6 and $11. However, let's dive into analyzing this particular article. SoftBank, which is a huge investment firm, has recently liquidated their entire SoFi share position. As of quarter three of 2022, if we look at SoftBank's 13F filing, we can see that the company formerly held 95.28 million shares of SoFi stock in quarter two, but in quarter three, they don't have any SoFi shares. They have completely sold SoFi. So why is this? Well, I've talked about this previously, and it's mainly because SoftBank as a company is not doing well, and they need cash fast, and they're doing this by liquid dating a multitude of companies, not just SoFi Technologies. So let's dive deeper into their reasoning. During quarter two, SoftBank reported a record loss of $23.4 billion, which was mainly due to their various investments going lower because the overall stock market is crashing and the overall macroeconomic environment for the economy as well as the stock market is looking very bleak and lackluster because we are experiencing a falling stock market. This has caused SoftBank to panic and start selling stocks, particularly in regards to SoFi, Uber, and many other companies that they own. They are selling their more risky companies so they can continuously operate as a successful firm. Also, on top of that, the company recently reported their third quarter earnings, which really disappointed their investors again, which is causing a lot of pressure on this particular company. The main takeaway we need to understand here is that SoftBank sold all of their SoFi stock not because SoFi is a bad investment or because SoftBank thinks SoFi is a bad investment, but rather it's because SoftBank is under economic pressure from the overall economy as well as from their investors, and they needed quick cash, which is why they liquidated their speculative growth companies, which would include SoFi Technologies. So again, I want to reiterate, they are not selling SoFi because they think SoFi is a fundamentally bad company, or that the management isn't good, or that they're not increasing the revenue fast enough, or anything of that sort. They do believe that SoFi is a fundamentally solid company, but they can't wait for SoFi to actually grow into its future valuation. They needed cash right now, and because they were strapped for cash, they needed to liquidate their shares. And again, they didn't just liquidate SoFi shares, they liquidated many other stocks along with SoFi. So if someone's trying to convince you and spread FUD that SoftBank is selling SoFi because SoFi is a bad company, they are misleading you. SoftBank is not selling them because they are a bad company, they sold them because they needed liquidity now and they couldn't wait for SoFi to continuously appreciate in price over the long term. 
So this is actually very positive for investors. Why? Many investors saw this coming because recently, before this, SoftBank sold half of their SoFi share positions to get quick cash, and as the stock market continually trended downwards, they needed to do that again, so they sold off their second half of their overall shares. Now, this was originally a big problem for SoFi Technologies because SoftBank was one of the largest holders and backers from an institutional perspective perspective for this overall company, and now SoFi has lost that. However, this then removes pressure from SoFi because very smart investors already saw this coming. They already knew this was coming, and now this pressure has totally been removed from SoFi, giving investors a better buying opportunity because this mega investment firm has now bowed out of this overall company. So why does this particular author think that this is actually good news? Well, he believes it's good news because it not only removes pressure from SoFi stock, but it also allows other institutions to double down on their investment, and one of those institutions that did just that was the very well-known and prestigious investment firm known as Vanguard. And I'm very excited about Vanguard doubling down on their SoFi stock position, because as soon as Vanguard identified weakness in the SoFi stock price because of SoftBank selling their overall shares, Vanguard thought this was a great opportunity opportunity to jump in on this company, and I 100% agree with them. As of Vanguard's quarter 3 13F filing, it has recently been revealed that Vanguard has doubled down on their position in SoFi shares. Again, Vanguard has successfully identified weakness in a very fundamentally strong company, and they are investing into this company, thus lowering their average cost basis, which is going to benefit them in overall returns as this company grows into profitability in 2024 and onward, which is going to increase the overall stock price. More good news for SoFi stock that we mentioned in a previous video, but don't worry, you don't have to go back and watch it. I will briefly fill you in right now. Last week, a Texas federal judge ruled that President Joe Biden's student loan forgiveness plan was unconstitutional. This means as of right now, people who have student loans in the United States will not be forgiven $10,000 to $20,000 worth of debt, which is going to benefit SoFi Technologies. Why is this? The reason this is going to be beneficial for SoFi Technologies and act as a very positive catalyst is that SoFi Technologies is heavily reliant on their student loan refinancing business. Now, ever since the pandemic, their student loan refinancing business has not been operating at full capacity. But after the student loan moratorium ends and on top of the student loan forgiveness plan not going through as of right now, this is acting as a phenomenal catalyst for for SoFi Technologies. So we literally have three positives going for SoFi right now. Vanguard has doubled down on their investment, which we will talk more about later in this article. We have the student loan moratorium ending on December 31st, and we have the student loan forgiveness plan being shot down by a federal judge. All of these are working very well together to make a mix that is extremely positive for the SoFi stock price. However, in the long term, I think SoFi is a very good company to own, but in the short term, the stock could be very volatile because as the overall general stock market falls, I anticipate that SoFi stock will fall along with it. So until the overall macroeconomic economy recovers and the stock market starts trending upwards, that's where we're going to see the real surge in the SoFi stock price, which many investors and professionals believe could surge over 20%, which would be crazy. But let's talk more about Vanguard doubling down on their overall bullish thesis in regards to SoFi shares. During the third quarter, Vanguard bought 4.85 million shares of SoFi, bringing their total stake in SoFi Technologies to 66.81 million shares, making Vanguard now the number one shareholder and institutional backer of SoFi Technologies. In second place, we have Red Crow Capital, who as of quarter three of 2021, owns 42.65 million shares. However, we do need an update on this particular investment from Red Crow Capital because that is a statistic from quarter three of 2021. I would love to look further into their 13F filing to see what they have done with their SoFi shares. Have they sold out or have they bought more? That could potentially be a catalyst or it could be catastrophic for the shares if Red Crow Capital also decided to liquidate some of their stock in SoFi Technologies. In third place, we have another very large institution backing 
SoFi, and that is BlackRock, ticker symbol BLK, who purchased another 826,805 shares during quarter three of 2022, which now indicates that the firm owns 31.68 million shares of SoFi. Again, we see SoFi having a very large institutional backing among these top three investment firms. Now, although SoftBank selling their shares is somewhat of a Debbie Downer, I think it's overall very good news because it's indicating to these other stronger companies to invest even more into SoFi stock and I think that's going to be very positive. If you haven't watched the last video that I did on SoFi Technologies, we had one stock reporter who's a critic of the company saying that the SoFi share price could drop as low as $3.34, which just so happens to be their tangible book value. But let me tell you, if the company's stock price actually drops to $3.34, I am going to buy a lot more. But you all know me, I also practice proper risk management by not overexposing myself to just a singular risky growth company. I only have around a 4% allocation to this company as of right now because that is just proper risk management and I own a plethora of other companies that has caused my overall portfolio to maintain green this year despite the overall economy being very bad and the overall stock market falling. But with that being said, I would always encourage you to do your own research. Smash that like button for all of this good news coming out about SoFi Technologies and even if the company does does drop to $3.34, it would actually move SoFi's management to then do a reverse stock split, which would be an extremely interesting development, which I will report on if that ends up happening. But until then, I would love to hear your thoughts about what you think the future of the SoFi stock price holds. Remember to go and smash that like button if you haven't already, subscribe if you are new, or if you want more video updates on SoFi Technologies, and I will see you in the next YT video.